do it. In the first episode of Amazon's Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Alexander Skarsgård and Isa Gonzalez make an unexpected cameo. Nevertheless, their tale only becomes clear in the conclusion. The first Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie is one of those Hollywood screenplays that quickly gains popularity. Although the success of the resulting picture was primarily due to its cast, the film's principals, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, undoubtedly drove Mr. and Mrs. Smith to nearly $500 million in box office revenue worldwide because of their off-screen romance. Despite sharing the title Amazon's Mr. and Mrs. Smith has no ties with the 2005 film, and no mention is made of Pitt or Jolie's characters. Mr. and Mrs. Smith cast Maya Erskine and co-creator Donald Glover as the titular characters, and the TV reboot dials back on the action scenes, though it still has them and slickness of its namesake, to explore the weird romance the central characters develop. It also hints at a wider universe of rival spy agencies, and the fact that John and Jane aren't the only Smiths in the business. Meet Mr. Smith. What, are you looking for a job or something? You are the job. The season one finale twist means Alexander Skarsgård and Isa Gonzalez's spies were killed by Wagner Maura and Parker Posey's John and Jane. The first episode, First Date opens with Alexander Skarsgård and Isa Gonzalez playing retired Smiths, who are soon revealed to be on the run. Their peaceful seclusion is shattered when they realize assassins have found them, and after an all-too-brief firefight, they're both killed. The series doesn't go into the duo's backstory at all, though Mr. and Smith's finale, a breakup reveals they were killed by Wagner Maurer's John and Parker Posey's Jane. This couple is another set of Smiths that John and Jane accidentally meet during episode 4. Though the finale reveals this was totally by design, Maura and Parker's Smiths are extremely high-risk agents, and in the final episode, they reveal this means they're the assassins sent in to kill other Smiths. There's no higher risk than having to assassinate other trained killers. So, when their mysterious boss Hickey orders Glover and Erskine's characters eliminated, the high-risk Smiths are called in. This also means Maura and Parker's couple killed Skarsgård and Gonzalez during the opening. But while their faces are never seen, it's possible to tell the assassins were male and female. The high-risk Smiths really tried to kill John and Jane when sending them on their mission in Episode 4. Mr. and Smith's finale reframes everything about the high-risk Smiths from their first appearance in Double Date. It initially appears the duo tricked John and Jane into undertaking a dangerous job on their behalf, as a taste of high-risk work where they end up killing another runaway Smith. It seems the true goal was for Maura and Parker's Smiths to send John and Jane on this mission, hoping they'd get killed too. They sent them totally unprepared into hostile terrority to meet with somebody who was bound to shoot them on sight. The high-risk Smiths look shocked the pair survived, and maybe even a little impressed. Maura and Parker's killers are strategic about engineering assassinations to go in their favor, so when their plan to get Glover and Erskine Smiths to kill each other doesn't work, they're forced to step in. Mr. and Smith's finale doesn't make it clear if they succeeded in killing John and Jane either. So viewers will have to hope for season 2 to get an answer.